welcome or welcome back to my channel as you already know or if you don't know my name is robin and as you can tell by the title today we're going to be preparing for my 17th birthday yes girl i'm excited so today is october the 18th it just turned october the 18th it's 103 in the morning but since I'm so bad at recording intros for my videos, all of the clips that y'all are about to see are from various days that range from the 13th of October to maybe like the 16th. Um, so I've been preparing for a while now. My birthday is October 22nd. And yeah, so that's next week from right now. And yeah, so I'm gonna be getting my nails and my hair done and my makeup and stuff and we're going to well me and my boyfriend are going to have a photo shoot if you want to see me get dolled up for my 17th birthday make sure you continue watching i hope you all enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe now let's get into the video hey y'all so we on the way to the nail shop i didn't record getting my nails done because my nail tech was tired and he just wasn't in the mood so i just wasn't even finna record but despite all of that he stepped on their necks with my nails like he always do he never misses like ever this is the left hand looking real gorgeous and this is the right hand this man is like the best Okay y'all, so now that I'm home, I'm about to bleach the knots on my wig. I ordered this wig from Amazon and it was honestly sort of a disappointment because I ordered it to be a 22 inch wig. It was either a 20 inch wig or a 22 inch wig. And girl, this is not no 22 inch wig. This give me like, 14 to 16 inches but for the price that it was it was like 120 dollars or something for the price that it was it does have good texture i will say that it sheds but it does have good texture and it's soft and like this is the lace but i'm about to bleach the knots on the wig and i went to the hair product store i didn't film everything because i literally kind of forgot I kind of forgot, but I didn't film everything. But I went to the hair product store and I bought a wig head, a wig cap. I mean, the wig came with wig cap, but the wig came with wig caps, but I like to buy like extra wig caps. Cause I know I'm gonna mess up on the ball cap like I always do, but I'm going to achieve it. Like I'm going to achieve it one day, so I'm not stopping. And then, and then I bought some shampoo and an elastic band to tie the lace. Uh, I wanted to buy that purple shampoo, but girl, that thing is expensive, and I wasn't trying to do that. So we got that shampoo. And yeah, so I'm about to bleach the knots on the wig. So I can put it on. Cause my hair looking real rough. Like sticking up. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah, I love my nail tech. Like he is just the best. Like nobody can literally put their fingers on my hand and try to put their acrylic on my nails. Like he do. Like nobody can do that. Nobody. 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 Like, he gonna be my nail tech until the day I die. Like, I'm not leaving him. I will never cheat on him, ever. Cause I did that once. I cheated on him and I went to Walmart and I let Walmart do my nails. When I tell you I wasted $50 and I wanted to fight. It's another story for another day. But anyway, let's get into bleaching this wig. I'm probably going like not talk because I don't want to um, mess up my wig for my birthday. So yeah, right now it is 11.49 at night. Today's Thursday, October the 15th. 
and my birthday is next Thursday, October the 22nd. But yeah, I got military time, but it's 11.49, like I just said. And we're about to, oh, oh girl, when did wig heads start putting a whole, I could put this on a whole broom and make it like one of those real wig heads. But who cares? But yeah, I'm about to go on silent mode so y'all can just see what I'm doing. And if you want to know how to bleach a wig, look it up on YouTube because I'm not your girl. I barely know what I'm doing myself. So just look it up on YouTube and I'm sure somebody will help you out. This is my second time bleaching a wig. Um, Go watch my last video where I slayed my Amazon wig. That wig was so much better. Like, if I could use, if I could have got this hair from that vendor, is it a vendor? I don't know. But if I could have got this hair from that person, life would be so great. But she only sells straight wigs and I wanted a curly wig. But I use 40 developers. I know that's too much. And then I gotta find the powder. I don't know where it's at, but we're gonna find it. And then we're gonna bleach the wig. Why am I keep talking? I don't know, but two. When you do all of your mixing and stuff to get ready to bleach your wig or your knots, I highly recommend wearing a mask because that stuff is super strong like super strong so please wear a mask you know just keep your brain cells alive i guess Honestly, don't know where I be going wrong with my wigs, but it's nothing a little hairspray can't fix. I think honestly, my problem is my developer is too strong, and I leave it on there for too long. Like the 40 developer, it probably should be on there for like five to ten minutes. But girl, I don't know. I don't know how to do hair, but it's gonna turn out cute. I promise you. If you all want to see how I laid my wig and got the color right, a video will be out on that soon. So make sure that you're subscribed and you have the bell on so you'll get the notification.
Hey y'all, as I'm editing, I noticed that my video is literally all over the place and I apologize for that. Planning for your birthday, well at least planning for my birthday, it is extremely stressful and I was just trying to make sure everything was right and everything was to my liking that I wasn't even stopping and thinking to record for y'all. But I recorded as much as I could and I hope y'all understand the concept of the video. And yeah, just keep watching. Thank y'all. say irritating but anyways y'all make sure y'all stay tuned on october 22nd and follow me on instagram at plus robin so y'all can see the finished photo shoot it's gonna be too cute i promise If he's in quiet, he's not at all. And my birthday's in four days. Well, when y'all see this, it'll probably be like three days because I want to post this tomorrow. We just took pictures. And, uh, um, I don't know what to say. It was just a set. Of course, you already know I made the pictures cute. Without me, they would have been very hideous, as you can see. Hey y'all, so I'm at school. I don't know what made me like think to vlog at. Ugh. I don't know what made me think to vlog at school because I'm a shy person and I don't want nobody to see me talking to my camera. So. Anyways, I'm at school and um, yeah, I just wanted to touch bases on my makeup. Uh, I wanted somebody to do my makeup and I called my mom's makeup artist, but he didn't answer. Well, it's not really her makeup artist, but he did her makeup once and um, I called him, but he didn't answer. And he didn't call me back, like rude trying to give you money for your business and you didn't call me back but anyways so i wanted my makeup did but nobody could do it and then this lady this lady she was trying to charge me 120 for a natural beat like sis what do you think i am what do you think i am cardi b i'm not about to pay all that money for a natural beat so i just did my makeup myself Okay, y'all, so I'm at home now. But anyways, like I was saying in the last clip, I wanted somebody to do my makeup, but nobody was just like not trying to do my makeup. And I was just like, why y'all not trying to do my makeup? But anyways, so um, somebody referred me to this girl on Instagram and she was charging $35 to do makeup. But then I looked at her pictures and I was like, I see why you charging $35. But... I was gonna go with it, but then again, I was like, something was telling me not to go with it because, anyways, so.
So, uh, I just did my makeup myself. If I could find a picture, I'll insert it right here next to me. But it wasn't nothing too major. Like, the only thing I did was put concealer on and put foundation on and try to do my eyebrows. Like, I don't know how to do makeup. It's just, I don't know how to do it. But I tried to do the best that I could. To me, I didn't look any different. Like, I looked the same. So, I don't know if you could tell that I had makeup on or not. Probably on my eyebrows, because they was mad dark. And I really don't got no eyebrows like that. But, um, so I tried to get as much as I could done for myself to make myself happy, you know, on the week of my birthday. And... I would say that I achieved it because I am happy and there's nothing that I don't like there's nothing that I don't want as of now I hope that makes sense like there's nothing that I'm wanting for right now in regards to my birthday like I did the photo shoot I got my nails and my toes did I got my hair did you know I got clothes like it's just it's everything went as planned and the only thing now is to get the cake, but you gonna get the cake on your birthday and my birthday, it's not my birthday yet. So I was gonna say that I didn't insert a video or a picture of my photo shoot because I know that I'm gonna post this before my uh, pictures come back. And I want it to be like a surprise, I guess you could say. And I don't want nobody to know what they look like. So that's why I didn't post them, but the final, product i guess the finished look the final product whatever um i'm gonna post them on my birthday yeah and about that about my pictures <sighs> when i tell you my birthday is so stressful like it is so stressful with planning with anything like if you plan something it's more than likely not gonna go how you want it to and i did have some bumps in the road with them planning for myself but okay, so when I wanted to take my pictures, I tried to book with this boy who be taking my boyfriend's pictures, like football pictures on the field. Like when he's on the field, he be having pictures taken of himself. And so I wanted that boy to take my pictures because I'm supporting his business. He claims that he's a photographer. I'm supporting his business and he knows my boyfriend. So I was just trying to like, I don't even know what I was trying to do. It's a specific way that I want my pictures to be done. And I told him, hey, I want this, this, and this. Can you do it by this time? And I'll come take the pictures with you on this date. And I'll bring the props and everything. I just need you to have the background. He like, okay, yeah, for sure. I can do that for you. I can do it. And then I told him, like, are you sure you can do this? Because the way that I want it, the way that I want it to be, it's kind of like complex. So I'm telling him like, can you, are, are you sure that you can do this? Like, I need you to practice on some pictures that you've already took in to make sure that you can do this. He's like, I can do it. I think I can do it. Think, that think is not gonna work. It's either yes or no. Um, I told him like, okay, on this day, I need you to tell me, can you do it or not? Like be straight up, tell me, can you do it or not? So I'll have a backup plan. And he's like, okay. So he literally told me the next day and he was like, no, nah, I can't do it. But his reasoning was because his dad didn't want him to take pictures of me because he didn't want him to contract the coronavirus. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, I don't have the coronavirus. Like, I mean, I don't have the coronavirus. And you're more likely to catch the coronavirus at these Friday night football games than just me and you one-on-one -on -one taking pictures. I, I, I don't understand. But that was out the plan, so I had to restart. I was so stressed out. I was calling my boyfriend. I was crying because I was so upset. Like, I want everything to go how I want it to go. Like, it's about me. I want everything to be what the way I want it to be. You know what I'm saying? So... I had to find another photographer and I was telling people on Snapchat like, swipe up and let me know like who y'all know who take pictures and this and this and this. So some girl swiped up and then some another girl, uh, she like DM'd me or whatever. And she's like, oh, he take pictures, you should go to him. Like I was basically focused on price because I had a budget and I wanted everything to fit in that budget. So my parents gave me money 
and then like my mom paid for some things separately so if i had to add everything up that i did for myself i would say 500 dollars flat then i was looking i was looking on uh, a pacific photographer's instagram page and i was like okay he he fine with the pictures like let me hear him up and i told him this this and this like i need this like this and i want it to be done on this date and i'll come to you and take the pictures on this date so they'll be ready by october 22nd please i need your help and he's like oh yeah i can do that for you same thing he's like oh yeah i could do that for you uh you got a book on the website tell me this, this, and this, and then pay the deposit. I'll send you my number and the location of the studio. So I'm like, okay, that was simple. Uh, before I sent the deposit, I called him. I'm like, I need to call you to make sure that we're on the same page. And he's like, okay. And then I called him. I'm like, can you do this edit? He's like, no. I'm like, I literally texted you and told you, could you do the edit? And he was like, oh, I thought you meant something else but I'll try to find somebody for you. So the dedication of working with me to find somebody else that can do it for me, I kind of like liked it that. So I stayed with him and uh, he charged me $75. No, he charged me $100, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? The pictures are done now, so it is what it is. Hopefully they come back so cute. Hopefully they come back in the style and creativeness that I want them to be in and I hope just everything is to my liking because if I have one mistake I'm gonna just have a mental breakdown I want everything to be right I want everything to be the way I want it to go like I don't understand I don't understand what's so hard about that I don't understand why people can't just function their life around me it's my birthday like come on now come on now i don't really do much um my boyfriend's mom is gonna cook me a seafood bowl on saturday my birthday's on thursday but she's gonna cook it on saturday and so i'm gonna go over there and i'm gonna eat that and that's probably gonna be a separate video because i love that lady like she is just the best like oh i love her and so yeah she's gonna cook me a seafood ball and i'm probably gonna like vlog that or whatever so be on the lookout for that i guess and yeah that's it i think that's it like i said my birthday's on thursday october 22nd and yeah i hope you all enjoyed the video i thank you so much for taking the time out to watch my video and like I said, I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you like and what you don't like in the video. And comment down below. Tell me when your birthday is. Do you have the same birthday as me? Are you a Libra? What's your zodiac sign? You know, just let me get to know you like you get to know me. Y'all be blessed. Bye, y'all.